Welcome to the high school finals of the 2017 Department of Energy National Science Bowl competition. At this time, I'd like to welcome our two finalists to the stage. Team A, hailing from Alexandria, Virginia, coming in with one loss from double elimination, Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology. And Team B, hailing from Lexington, Massachusetts, coming in with no losses, Lexington High School. Okay, at this time we'd like to test the buzzers and have the contestants introduce themselves to us. Um, please buzz in, wait to be verbally recognized by Phelan. Tell us your name, your year in school, and what career you'd like to pursue after your education is completed. A3. Hi, I'm Neeraj, uh, grade 12, and I'd like to pursue biochemistry. A2. Hi, I'm Aditya, I'm a sophomore, and I'm interested in artificial intelligence. A, C, a captain. Hi, I'm Franklin. Um, I'm a junior. I always knew I wanted to do research, but I didn't know where. Now I know where after listening to all the questions this weekend. I'd like to go to Lawrence Livermore National Lab. <laughs> <laughs> a great answer. Oh, I want to say A1. Okay, I'm Charles Wong. I'm a junior. I guess I'll go into particle physics studying goats and bosons, that sort of stuff. B1. I'm Joshua. Sorry, Joshua, please speak into the microphone. Joshua, I'm a junior, and I want to become Ben Choi, the chemist boy. <laughs> B Captain. Um, hi, I'm Catherine. Um, I'm a senior at LHS, and I want to be Ben Choi, the physician scientist boy. <laughs> B2. Uh, hi, I'm Anka. I'm a freshman at LHS, and I want to be Ben Choi, the Meisner Oshenfeld effect boy. B3. Hi, I'm Derek Hoffman, a junior at LHS, and I want to be Ben Choi, the particle physics boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, so as I said, Thomas Jefferson High School currently is coming in with one loss. Lexington High School coming in with no losses. So that means that if Lexington wins round eight, they will be our champions and Thomas Jefferson will be our second place team. If Thomas Jefferson wins round eight, then we'll go to round number nine. Do you have any questions before we begin? Are both teams ready? Team A? Yes. Team B? Yeah. Best of luck. Without further ado, let's begin. This is high school double elimination, round number eight. First question, toss up biology, short answer. The cytosol of cells is thought of as a reducing environment, mainly due to the presence of what sulfur containing molecule? B, Captain. Cysteine. I'm sorry, it's incorrect. A1. Sulfate. Sorry, it's actually glutathione. Toss up number two is in physics, short answer. After being exposed to an external magnetic field, a ferromagnet does not relax to zero magnetization when the field is removed. Interrupt. B2. Hysteresis. Is correct. Your, question, your bonus question is visual, in physics, and short answer. Depicted is the velocity distribution. Uh, we don't see anything. Uh, stop the Sorry, stop the clock, please. Please tell me when the display is showing. Okay, no, oh, good. You guys are good? Yeah. Okay, physics, short answer. Depicted is the velocity distribution of an ultra-cold gas as it undergoes a phase transition. Answer the following two questions about the image. One, what state of matter has been formed? Two, indicate all of the following three neutral atoms that could compose this state. A, deuterium, 
B, helium-4, C, sodium-23. Okay. So it's both Einstein condensate, um, and we want bosons. So helium-4, deuterium, deuterium is, a, is deuterium a boson? I think it is. I don't know. One proton, one neutron. So yes. Um, so let's say one is both Einstein condensate, two is... A and B. Or, yeah, it's A and B, right? Okay, yeah. Okay. Um, one is Bose-Einstein condensate, two is deuterium and helium-4. Sorry, it is a Bose-Einstein condensate, but it is helium-4 and sodium-23. Uh -huh. Toss-up three is an energy multiple choice. Department of Energy scientists at Los Alamos National Lab changed three amino acids on the enzyme carbonic anhydrase to enhance its thermal stability. Which of the following changes would be most likely to increase stability but would not interfere with its catalytic cycle? W, changing three aspartate residues at the active site to valine. X, changing three outward facing hydrophobic residues to aspartate. Interrupt. A3. X. Is correct. Your bonus question is visual, in energy, and it is short answer. The image shows a simulation of the flow patterns of a fluid created in the relativistic heavy ion collider at Brookhaven National Lab. Answer the following two questions about the image. One, what is the common name of this fluid that was first discovered in the RIC in 2005? Two, identify all of the following three particles that, when collided in the RIC, can produce this fluid. One, electrons. Two, gold nuclei. Three, protons. Plasma. I think this would be two only. Why not three? Because like there's not enough stuff in there. Okay, to so quark gluon plasma and, and two, two only. Okay, quark gluon plasma and two only. It is a quark gluon plasma. Unfortunately, it's two and three. Okay. Toss up four. Earth and space. Short answer. A white dwarf star resists gravitational collapse due to the degeneracy of what interrupt? B, Captain. Electrons. Is correct. Nice. <laughs> Your bonus question is visual, in Earth and space, short answer. On the screen is an image of Pluto compiled by NASA's New Horizons team. Not Identify there. all of... No. It's not. Okay. okay, now we're good. Sorry, I'll start over. Earth and space, short answer. On the screen is an image of Pluto compiled by NASA's New Horizons team. Identify all of the following statements that are true of the unit of high albedo surface material known as Sputnik Planum. One, it is composed primarily of water ice. Two, it is thought to be slowly convecting. Three, it onlaps geologically older surrounding terrain. Uh, three is probably right. Water ice, I don't think it would be convecting. convecting. That means That's... it's liquid or gas, right? That, yeah, that seems sketchy, so I think it's one, three. Okay, one and three. Sorry, it was actually two and three. Toss at number five for both teams in chemistry, short answer. In organic chemistry, saturated rings with what number of atoms have the largest relative formation rates in ring interrupt? E1. Five. Is correct. Nice. Your bonus question is visual, in chemistry, short answer. Oh, there Shown on the image is a ruthenium-based catalyst used for the olefin metathesis reaction, which was developed by Robert Grubbs as part of the work that won him the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2005, along with Chauvin and Schrock. Answer the following two questions regarding the image. One, what is the oxidation state of the central ruthenium atom? Two, what functional group present on the unusual ligand labeled A consists of a hypovalent carbon atom donating its lone pair to the metal? Okay, two is a carbene, and I think one is two. Let's see. We have some time. Okay, I think two plus. Yeah. Um, station of this thing. Two plus and two plus carbene. carbene. Okay, one is two plus, two is carbene. Sorry, one is plus four, but two is carbene. Toss up six is in math, short answer. Find the quadratic polynomial with integer coefficients and smallest positive leading coefficient that has the same sum and product of zeros as three x to the seventh minus five x fourth 
plus 6x plus 2. Hey, Captain. 3x squared minus 5x plus 2. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. B2. 9x squared minus 15x plus 4. Sorry, it's incorrect. It's 3x squared minus 2. It's okay. Toss-up seven, physics, multiple choice. Which of the following is not a region of a bipolar junction transistor? W, base, X, emitter, Y, gate, Z, collect, interrupt. B3. Y. Is correct. Oh, okay. Bonus, physics, short answer. In Cartesian coordinates, the electric potential in a region is described by the function one minus Y, Z squared. Calculate the electric field at the point, negative three, three, five. Potentials, so you have to do the derivative. Yeah, so, so it's that's minus so y. So that's minus z squared, so it's and then minus y, minus two y z. Yeah. So that should be minus 25, minus two y z. Make the whole thing okay. Minus 55. Minus 55. Sorry, it's 25j plus 30k. Oh. Toss up eight, chemistry, short answer. Consider the reaction of the organometallic reagent phenylithium with formaldehyde at minus 78 degrees Celsius. What functional group is formed in this reaction? B1. Alcohol. Is correct. Oh, nice. Your bonus in chemistry is short answer. Rank the following three hydrogen atoms in increasing order of pKa. One hydrogen alpha to two ester carbonyl groups. Two hydrogen alpha to two ketone carbonyl groups. Three hydrogen alpha to single ketone carbonyl group. Okay, so that would be two, three, one. Two, three, one? Mm -hmm. You have some time to check it if you need to. Increasing, so that's, yeah, two, three, one. Two, three, one. Sorry, it was two, one, three. <laughs> Toss up nines in biology, short answer. Vasopressin stimulates the action of phospholipase C on phosphatidylinositol 45 bisphosphate, releasing IP3 and what other interrupt? B captain. Diacylglycerol. Is correct. Your bonus in biology is short answer. Identify all of the following three statements that are true regarding apoptosis. One, cytochrome C release from mitochondria causes apoptosis. That's true. Two, cytochrome C has proteolytic function outside of the mitochondria. Don't think so. Three, caspase 9 is a protease. Yeah. Dude, they got that wrong. Okay. Um, I think it's 1-3. Yeah? Uh, whatever. 1-3. <laughs> is correct. Nice. Toss up 10. Math. Short answer. <clears throat> How many edges are in a complete graph with 12 vertices? A captain. 66. Is correct. Your bonus question in math is short answer. Each of the integers from 1 through 10,000 are written on 10,000 cards, one on each card, which are then stacked in order with one on the bottom and 10,000 on the top. The cards are then dealt two cards from the top of the stack, then one card from the bottom, and then repeating this process to deal all the cards. What is the number on the 2017th card dealt? Seven, nine, seven, seven. Sorry, it's eight, six, five, six. Toss 11, energy, short answer. Recent experiments at Slack National Accelerator Lab have focused on understanding matter-antimatter asymmetry by studying the decay of what specific hadrons? B3. Pentacorps. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. A1. Mesons? No. Sorry, it's actually the B mesons. Toss of 12, Earth and space, multiple choice. In the late 1800s, Lord Kelvin estimated the age of the Earth to be approximately 100 million years by calculating how long it would take a planet of Earth's size to cool from its temperature of formation. Kelvin's estimation was under the true value of 4.5 billion years because he neglected what source of heat? Interrupt. A1. Radioactivity. So it's incorrect. I'll repeat for team B, toss up, earth and space, multiple choice. 
In the late 1800s, Lord Kelvin estimated the age of the Earth to be approximately 100 million years by calculating how long it would take a planet of Earth's size to cool from its temperature of formation. Kelvin's estimation was under the true value of 4.5 billion years because he neglected what source of heat? W, solar radiation, X, radioactive decay, Y, meteor impacts, Z, tectonic friction. B, Captain. X. X is correct. <clears throat> Your bones in Earth and space is short answer. Identify all of the following three statements on Earth's radiogenic heat flux that are true. One, heat from potassium-40 decay has been relatively unchanged throughout Earth's history due to its long half-life. Two, uranium-235 is a greater source of radiogenic heat today than uranium-238. Three, the greatest source of radiogenic heat today is thorium. Um, it's half-life isn't, I mean, potassium-40's half-life isn't that long. It's like one point something billion years. Okay, two is wrong. So, I don't know if it would be, un uh, yeah, I guess. What? The story, the story. I don't know. There, there's Five, three? Seven. Sure, go three. Go three only? Okay. Three only. Is correct. And that is the half. <laughs> Score at the half. Lexington High School, 52. Thomas Jefferson, 8. We'll take a two-minute break. Please take your seats. All right, uh, just a quick reminder before we go on with the second half of uh, double elimination round eight. Audience, you've been fantastic, and this has been, uh, these rounds have been excellent. I just want to remind you all to uh, stay silent during the round. Um, after an answer has been given, a particularly amazing answer has been given correctly, an ooh or an ah is totally fine, but please refrain from doing it during the asking of a question. We don't want to tip our hand to any of the questions. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, we've gone through 12 questions in the first half. Do we have any substitutions at the half for either team? Okay, let's please test our buzzers again from the left side. Let's work our way across. Sorry, A captain. Thank you very much. Okay, do we have any questions before we begin? Are both teams ready to resume? Yes. Well, good luck. We'll pick up with question number 13. It's a toss-up in energy, short answer. Recently, Department of Energy researchers at Pacific Northwest National Laboratory determined the last nickel-catalyzed step of methane formation in methanogens. What type of spectroscopy did they use to rule out the presence of a nickel-methyl radical intermediate? B1. NMR. Sorry, that's incorrect. A2. ICPMS. 
No, I'm sorry, it's also incorrect. It's, it's, it's electron paramagnetic resonance spectroscopy. Toss up 14 is in biology, short answer. Identify all of the following three statements that are true of confocal microscopy. One, out of plane light is eliminated using a series of dichroics. Two, increasing pinhole size increases the depth of field. Three, confocal microscopes can image up to a millimeter deep in thick, untreated tissue samples. B, e, Captain. All of them. Sorry, it's incorrect. A3. One and three only. Sorry, it was actually two only. Toss up number five is in math. Short answer. Compute the determinant of the inverse of the two by two matrix with first row three, four, and second row minus one, five. A, Captain. One nineteenth. Is correct. Your bonus question is visual in math. Short answer. The hexagon in the center of the figure represents a top view of a sprinkler head. The sprinkler head is formed by deleting the three congruent orange equilateral triangles from a larger equilateral triangle. If the hexagonal head has half the area of the original triangle, then in the hexagon, what is the ratio of the shorter side length to the longer side length? So they wanted shortest to longer. Mm -hmm. Uh, the square root of six minus two is correct. Toss up 16 is an earth and space. Short answer. Type 1A supernovae begin with the runaway conflagration of what? I'll interrupt. B, Captain. Carbon. Is correct. Your bonus in earth and space is short answer. Identify all of the following four transition metals that can only be naturally synthesized in supernovae. One, iron. Two, gallium. Three, nickel. Four, chromium. Uh, is it everything but iron? I mean, chromium's before iron. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. So, oh. so two and three then? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that would make sense. <laughs> okay, two and three. Sorry, it was just two. Oh. Toss up 17, chemistry multiple choice. Which of the following best describes the first step of a reductive amination? W, adding an amine to an aldehyde or ketone. Interrupt. B1. W. Is correct. Your bonus question is visual. In chemistry, short answer. Shown on the image uh, is no. one unit cell. Wait, wait, we, we don't see. Okay. okay. <laughs> Sorry, chemistry, short answer. Shown on the image is one unit cell of the diamond cubic crystal structure where black spheres represent carbon atoms. Answer the following two questions. One, how many carbon atoms are in each unit cell? Two, is the packing efficiency of this lattice higher, lower, or equal to that of an FCC lattice? There's 18 and lower. There's 18 dots in here. Okay, eight and lower? But, you just count the dots. But, do you need to count the ones? No, you, just, you count how many are inside the cube. Yeah, eight. That's, okay, just ten. Ten, ten are inside the cube. But it's eight, right? Um, well, like how many portions are inside Five, the cube? I'm going to go with eleven, then. One is eight, two is lower. That is correct. <laughs> Toss up eight teams for both teams in physics. Short answer. The action of a system is defined as the time integral of what quantity, which equals the difference between kinetic and interrupt? B3. Lagrangian. Is correct. Your bonus is visual in physics, and it is short answer. Yay. Shown in the image is a spinning bicycle wheel that is suspended by a blue string from its axle, which is 0 0.1 meters long. A relevant force body diagram is shown, and the moment of inertia, angular speed, and weight due to gravity of the wheel are also given. In seconds and in terms of pi, what is the period of precession? Is it the fit? Seconds and in pi. Yes. Uh, Wait, we should, like, so, guess if I don't know. No, we haven't. So 10, 20, 
I'm gonna go with 20. Five seconds. One over 24. 24, 24 pi. Sorry, it's actually 48 pi. Toss up 19 is in chemistry, multiple choice. Which of the following statements is the best explanation of why silver fluoride is soluble in water? W, silver one is a hard acid and fluoride is a hard base. X, silver one is a soft acid and fluoride is a hard base. Interrupt. B1. X. Is correct. <laughs> Your bonus question in chemistry is short answer. Identify all of the following three protecting groups that are labile at pH 1 but stable at pH 12. 1. Dimethyl acetal. 2. Methyl ester. 3. Bach protected amine. I didn't get the second one. Methyl, Methyl ester. What was the first one? Dimethyl acetal. Acetal. Okay. Um, acetyl? One acetyl? and three. Okay. Um, one and three. Is correct. Toss up 20s in physics, multiple choice. Which of the following statements is true about steady laminar flow between two stationary parallel plates? W, the velocity profile follows a couette flow. X, the velocity profile is parabolic about the center line. Y, the velocity profile is linear and increases towards the top plate. Z, the velocity profile is not dependent on the pressure gradient. A1. X. Is correct. Your bonus in physics is short answer. Bob observes Alice moving at half the speed of light towards his left and Carol moving at half the speed of light towards his right. To the nearest 10, Alice will measure Carol's speed to be what percentage of the speed of light? It's 80%. 80. Is correct. Toss of 21, energy, short answer. Researchers at the Department of Energy's Advanced Light Source measured photoionization cross-sections for C60 fullerenes and detected a surface mode where all 240 electrons in the buckyball were collectively excited. What term is given to describe a collective motion of this type? A1. Resonance. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. E captain Flash mob. Sorry, no. It's actually called a plasmon. Toss-up 22, biology, short answer. Connexins are transmembrane proteins that compose what type of intercellular junction? B e captain Gap junctions. Is correct. Your bonus in biology is short answer. Rank the following three biological structures in increasing order of cholesterol concentration in their outer membranes. One, red blood cell. Two, E. coli. Three, mitochondrion. Uh, increasing, so it's probably two, three, one. Because, well, yeah, they're like weird. 54. Yeah, okay. Anything we do doesn't matter. Five seconds. Oh, okay. Two, three, one. Is correct. Toss of 23 is for both teams in math, and it is short answer. Let f of x equal the greatest integer less than or equal to x. If f of open parentheses 0.2x close parentheses equals minus 25, what is the largest possible integer value of x? A captain. Negative 54. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. B2. Minus 129. Sorry, it's minus 121. Toss up 24 is an Earth and space, short answer. To the closest integer, what is the ratio of the energy radiated by 7.8 earthquake to that radiated by a six point interrupt? B captain. 32. Is correct. Your bonus question in Earth and space is visual and short answer. The figure shown is a geologic cross-section. Given that no rocks have been overturned, letters A through H correspond to rock units and letter I corresponds to the adjacent fault. Use Steno's laws to order the cross-section features from youngest to oldest. Oh my god, young to old. Okay, so uh, uh, B is the oldest and then C, D, a, um, C, F, G, and then I has to go into I, um, is 
older, it's younger than me. Okay. Uh, G F E A I D C B. Sorry, you left one out. It was H G F E A I D C B. But your ordering was correct. And the last question is a toss up in physics short answer. What mathematical series is used to approximate the electrostatic or magnetostatic potentials far from a source distribution in terms of modal moments? A1. Asymptotic. Sorry, that's incorrect. B3. Kähler series. Sorry, it's actually the multipole expansion. Oh, that. And that is the match. Final score, Lexington High School 106, Thomas Jefferson High School 36. Please join me congratulating both teams and our 2017 National Science Bowl High School champions, Lexington High School. Congratulations, Lexington.